too, we always look in the bonus of what was the most significant in the last reading, which was the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups showed up. Some of you can even resonate with those cards individually. You know, they might not be your story today, but they might be your card and your general sense of life. So today I've pre-selected which ones we are going to discuss, and it was the Knight of Cups in the ending. Um, beautiful energy with the cup being offered. In any case of the sense today, it is about new love and it's about a romantic feeling being birthed sometimes from nothing. It is just a new idea and the Knight of Cups can even be you. You know, this can be your card as a person. It can be, I've always been, you know, this balanced, harmonious, romantic Libra. That's what I always associate to. So we will assess the cards very realistically. We always do. It's our discussion time. And we also have the star. This is Aquarian by nature. And let me see if I can flash the light a little bit toward, it's a little bit stronger. It's a little bit stronger, but this is from the Baroque and uh, I don't get flagged for some reason. Like if I don't tape the cards, I don't know why. It's, it's never flagged on this channel, but, um, <laughs> which is kind of lucky. So you actually benefit from that because you get to see the real beauty of the cards, Libra. Uh, the star energy, we, we basically came to that this is Libra and energy today. It's about excelling and healing. Also, you could be enlightened by readings that you watch. You could also be profusely connected to what uh, intuitives say, or even if you have a guidance counselor that you watch all the time or uh, their word seems to fit with your life. So it's something like that. Uh, recently, I picked up on, um, there's a reader who is just amazing. They, they never show their face, which is quite admirable. Um, it's kind of like a podcast and it's very long. I, I keep forgetting the name. It's about 50 minutes long. You can literally fall asleep to it, but it is, uh, it's basically tarot, but it's just not pulling of the cards. You know, you don't see the artwork. However, uh, I feel like in some ways that's also an effective way of listening. So we see here that the star is a, a major player in today's reading, and you can resonate with this on more than one level. You could be excelling at different things at your life this time. Maybe even here outside of your personal strength and your spiritual strength, you're also gaining like physical, like I'm getting into my fitness, I'm making myself an all around uh, pliable person. You know, I'm also spiritual and I'm also, I'm doing well in another area of my life as well. So multifaceted, multi-range star that we have in today's reading. Also someone who's like very much putting themselves as the priority. Uh, I feel like the 1111 portal is going to stress that you are what comes first. You are the priority to take care of. Um, and that's going to be, you know, that's going to be broad for some of you where you're like, I'm not quite there yet. I am actually making plans. I am making strategies to where that is an effective point in my day. So you could be there already, Libras, with the star, but we will draw out clarifiers. And the Ace of Wands, beautiful, because this is a creative new beginning. It opens up an era, or it opens up a peak of our lives in a period where we start new beginnings. So it can be creative. And the reason why I use this old deck today is because I wanted you to see the pictures uh, in basic terms of how they're drawn out and how tarot usually looks because I didn't want to use anything that was irregular today uh, meaning like this like cartoony so let's get to it uh, let's clarify the knight of cups in general terms we begin at 350 so what is the knight of cups generally for all Libras today what did that mean in the previous reading if they resonated the ace of swords so this Ace of Swords is about clarity. Whenever you receive clarity, it's about hearing from somebody. It's about somebody delivering a message to you. It also can be extremely caring because the Knight of Cups carries emotions and he thinks about his lover quite often. Uh, he's also very in tune with love and he wants to bring forward something in the present. You know, the Knight of Cups is like the mailman of love, if you will, okay? Um, there was a song uh, that Karen Carpenter sang. I'm going to put it down below. That's what's playing in my mind right now is the Karen Carpenter song. Um, maybe it's Postman, but I kind of feel like you will be hearing about it. It's almost like it will come in the form of a letter for some of you. Maybe you're hearing from someone from long ago for the Knight of Cups. doesn't seem like it's too, too current or it can be a person you're dating that's finally stating true feelings 
This can also be the big, big thing, like asking some of you to be with them long-term, and uh, that could be the truth that you hear about. So the portal is going to open up real energy, real emotions, and sometimes it even can be uh, something soft that you needed to hear. Okay, it's a clarification on someone's feelings. We also have the star, which we, we discussed could be you today. That was like what we agreed upon, that you were the star. That's clarified by the Five of Swords. So the beginning of the past involved pain, uncertainty. Sometimes these can be harsh words as well. And we have to draw from this in a specific place because the Five of Swords can be any type of pain we've gone through. It can be a death in the family. It can be a friend that we lost. It can also be maybe a lover here who is very stubborn um, and ghosted. So it can be anything with the Five of Swords. What is that? King of Wands. Okay, so it involves like a love suitor and conflict. So we're walking away from this during the, uh, during the portal. We want to do without it. It makes our lives easier as well. Some of you in the workplace, this is the five of wands for you. It's conflict avoidant and walking away from anything that's, you know, it's not with a high vibrational person. They don't choose to accept this in their life. They don't choose to walk with that frequency. Uh, and again, it no longer serves them. So these are the ideals that you might be hearing at this time, especially if it's from other readers or if it's from another video where you're learning actually there's a pattern uh, especially through portal energy it's rather important to keep these as reminders so the king of wands is anyone who's persistent or driven and i feel like for a lot of you you might say i've turned into the king of wands lately uh, i've become the king of wands in my life i've established a lot of new routines uh, I also attack them with a drive and I've developed a schedule where I attack that every day in a rather productive manner. I don't waste time anymore or um, I seek my opportunities instead of truly ignoring them. So a lot of you could be the king of wands as well. Let's see this ace of wands new beginning, okay? Why is also, I wanna ask who the knight of cups is. Stable energy with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's a new love with the ace of cups. That one would be a new person, okay? For some of you, like you you did work with them or you met them through a friend. Because I see here that it's finally coming to fruition how this person feels for you with the Ace of Cups. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. I also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy on the Gemini and Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also have the Ten of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this showed back out in your reading and that's rather important because stability is of mind at this time okay uh, we feel like our legacy is actually coming into play with the choices that we are making or you're setting up for that libra what is the ten of pentacles about in hindsight of it all thank you ten of swords okay so it's attached to a person you had a relationship to the ten of wands is also here you had a completion in a relationship and you started to work on yourself, your pentacles became the focus. Anything you do there, especially if it's investments, uh, if you have a corporate job here, Libra, where you have a lot of responsibility, you are needed, and um, I feel like you're highly requested too. So Ace of Pentacles, uh, this, is a, this is a card which is offering, and you also have it here today. It's almost like your new beginning will bring offers. You have two aces that are rather significant and they're side by side in this read, okay? Ace of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles, it's like I have new beginnings and I have new offerings, which is really important because if you check the portal energy, that's what's going on. It's the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, cool. So it's so far it's checking out. Let's see what the ending is here for you today. We have a King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? So more stability for you. The six of wands, you don't see, you don't see the success. The six of wands, Leo energy, okay? You don't see the success primarily because maybe you're not forcing or prying your eyes open to believe it. And uh, some of you feel like this could be a lucky per chance event too, okay? So if this is love, it's almost like you're looking to find success there and meet somebody new, or you're already solidifying this Knight of Cups relationship. So I see that bounce back too. I see that it could be career or love. Can I get three career cards? Thank you.
King of Pentacles. He shot back out from the bottom of the deck. You have stability, uh, gaining that even on your own. I feel like you are the King of Pentacles today as well. So there's almost like a reliability with just you, okay? Building something, again, building is the word I keep getting. We have the Eight of Pentacles at the very end of your reading. This is resources. It's also working very hard. It's also creating something out of nothing. It's effort. Eight of Pentacles is anything that you're putting your energy to, anything that excites you. Uh, and that's what you don't see coming. It's like work opportunities. I feel like you are fulfilled when you do this. You, you know, you're the star when you work hard on your goals as well. Let's finish out this bonus. What was the King of Cups? The King of Cups is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you're going to be receiving, what I'm picking up here is you're going to be receiving a loving energy. You will get loving energy back a little bit more. Eight of Cups, Six of Pentacles. You'll know because you walked away from this person. You initially walked away from them and the Six of Pentacles is what they want to give to you in the energy. Can I clarify the Six of Pentacles, please? What is that? Temperance and the Knight of Pentacles. They're going to bring it to you slow. It's going to be a very, very slow treading offer to you because he holds the pentacle there. And it's about patience, okay? Patience for the good things. Patience for the things returning to you. And in a large part too, Libra, this is like an unexpected new event as well because temperance can be leading you to a whole new path and not drawing you towards energies anymore that you're just not attracted to. You've ascended from them uh, and you've grown far away from this type of activity, which is the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you're almost getting like a reward that's new here from all of your hard work and your spiritual, I would say endurance as well. Okay, it's a little mixed messages, but let's see who the King of Wands was too. Who's the King of Wands? Thank you. The lovers. It was attached to somebody who you had a connection to. And I really feel like the truth is going to come out to you due to the fact the person's been harboring a lot of emotions with the Knight of Cups. And if it's a new person, they're also harboring new emotions for you. They also feel something for you. Okay? That's what I see in the energy. And I evaluate as I look down. I look down at all the energy with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a big cue card as well and working on things with the Eight of Pentacles, which we earlier saw. Two likely outcomes of the bonus. What did the reading teach us from before? To follow your intuition with the High Priestess. Always go with that first voice. Uh, you never are led astray. If you hear it for the first time, usually you're right on the money about things, okay? Unless someone comes up to you and says you're dead wrong, but I feel like intuition here is increasing for a lot of you. Okay, in a healthy space. Let's see the uh, High Priestess. The Four of Wands and the world. Okay, so you're definitely closing something that's rather significant. It's leading to more committal energy and things that actually are going to benefit you as a person. This is coming in as like benefactor, beneficiary energy as I pull. Because I feel the energy when I pull the card. And that's it's almost like it's benefiting your higher good okay as you close it out and it's a long season of that so it could have been these last six months i leave you with this reading libra thank you for joining me in this bonus um, of course the queen of pentacles will see a brighter day uh, and that is the reading that i had for you i hope you enjoyed and i will see you soon probably tomorrow i'll catch you guys later and thank you so much for your time